Uh, hi there everyone, today we are going to change the touch on Hisense U962 It's a very simple and easy way of doing it um, There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 screws To make the video short I have removed all the screws So I am just going to show you one star Phillips screwdriver To do that the, Remove the battery take out the sim card it's very easy to open you can see put anywhere your nails or that any tool which can soften it keep it aside there are two screws onto the board one is here the other one is here you have to remove that to release it But uh, just be careful with the with the board. Remove uh, your antenna cable, your LCD cable. Power button loosen it up a little bit because if it is broken, then it's a new job. Volume side button. Uh, this board is attached to a flex there ribbon there, so just bend it a bit this thing was is still broken and we can just push it out now to remove it from the front we have to heat up you can use hot air station or my favorite uh, heat gun currently my heat gun is broken so i'm using hot air station on a very low heat about 200 because this is plastic chassis so if you heat it up a more it will bend it or, or melt it you know so just be careful when you see that you're doing it take a tweezer or anything that suits you whatever is easy for you you can take out the pieces which are already broken so you can go through the touch see it's not that difficult whoever changed it last time i think they never took out the plastic from there is it the plastic on the screen or oh, no? It's been changed before. So wherever they took it for repair last time, they did change the screen and touch. I can see the warranty seals there. The old one. <laughs> he didn't even bother to remove the plastic. Uh, let me grab the new touch you can see there but for the warranty reason I need to test it then I'll remove the plastic if there is one there is one there once the touch is in you're going to bend this flexi here the touch I see there's a small gap in between the camera board and the touch so this flexi has to go through that line gap so it can fit properly now I'm gonna quickly test it I'm not putting the screws as yet here because I just want to test it and then once I've tested it then I'll put the board screws back it 
going to put the battery in there. I'm just going to pause the video here for it to switch on. Sometimes these phones can take long to switch on. Now the phone is on, so we're going to test it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Start the flash. Top side. It's a bit slow, but it's working. Yeah, it's working now. So you can see that it's not that difficult. Now I'm going to put the gilo around it. I'm going to pause here to open it again. So I can... Let me rather just continue like that. Just be careful that the flexi doesn't break. I'm gonna remove this plastic so the double tape can. I think we don't need to put glue here. We can just stick it with this. Uh, because it's plastic, you know, it should hold each other nicely. Just press it a bit. Some of them, they don't come with the double sticking tape, so then you might need to use the glue. But for these type of phones, so if you need to put glue but I don't think so that we need to put glue it's gonna stick nicely sorry for the interruption somebody came in between as you know that I do my repairs most of the time into the shop so that's how we connect our touchback Now we're going to put, to put that uh, two screws that we took out from the board. It's going to go here. Just be sure the connector is connected proper. So this is how basically we change the touch of U962 Hisense. Now you can put all the screws back. We put the SIM card back and we give it back to the customer. I hope you like my video. If you learn something new. I'll try my best to answer from now on in the comments. If you ask any question, please share it, like it, subscribe my channel. I'll really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Until next time, goodbye.